On a cloudy December afternoon, we're in Chicago, Illinois, looking up at the Sears Tower, about to enter Union Station. Today, we're going to be taking a ride on a Metro Express train on the BNSF line. We'll be using the Jackson Street entrance to go into the station. We're taking the 2.30 p.m. 1201 Express train from Union Station all the way to Aurora. We enter the station and we'll head on down to the Metro ticketing area. The Metro ticket windows used to be a bustling place. However, now most people buy tickets on their phones or at the credit card kiosk. Here, four new kiosks are in the center of the room as passengers walk about. On the side of the room are a group of timetables, and above these are a TV displaying track and departure times of Metro trains. We see that we'll be departing from track 2 on time. No visit to Union Station is complete without a stop in the Grand Hall. Here it is still decorated for Christmas with railroads from the past and present all over the tree. After a quick stop, we'll take the sign's advice and head to our train. Leaving the Grand Hall, we continue to follow the signs to the main concourse. During our visit, the concourse was under construction with scaffolding throughout the hallways. This is part of ongoing renovations that should keep the station around for many generations to come. As we wrap through the maze of scaffolding, we eventually find track 2, where we'll enter and find our train. As advertised, waiting for us is our outbound express train. We'll take a walk down the platform and board at one of the forward cars. We found gallery car 770 today. This is a coach built by Bud in 1965 for the Burlington. We enter the car and head up into the second level of the gallery to get our seat. Settling into our seat, we take a look around. There aren't many accommodations on a metro train, but we can get a good sense for how much room there is. There are a few inches between my knees and the seat in front. When you flip the seat around, you still have a decent amount of leg room, even though it is a commuter train. As we prepare for departure, we take a quick look at the timetable. We can see that we're the first express of the day, departing at 2.30 and running express all the way to Downers Grove. From there, we make all stops to Aurora. This train will make a total of six stops once it leaves Union Station. Just before departure, head-end power was killed as the train switched from hotel power in the station to HEP power from the locomotive. Almost as soon as the lights switch back on, we lurch forward and start our journey west. Coming out from the train shed, we meet an inbound set. We will then pass the wash rack and the Zephyr pit as we depart the Chicago area. A light rain starts to fall as we pass the Metro Maintenance Facility in Chicago. This is the former Burlington Zephyr Pit where the Burlington Route's famous streamliners were serviced. Now it provides servicing facilities for BNSF's Metro trains as well as a few other services that depart from Union Station. As we come out from the wall of Metro coaches, we'll see some power including the Metro Burlington Heritage Unit.
Out on the main line, it was no time before we got to track speed. The ride in this old coach was a little rough at times, but it still was enjoyable. As a somewhat regular metro rider, it was interesting to be on an express train for once and flying through stations that we normally stop. Here we pass by Harlem Ave as we continue on our journey. The upper level of metro gallery cars is in a one by one configuration on two aisles. On the right is a luggage rack as well as the passageway down for which the conductor collects tickets. The seats up top do flip back and forth, allowing for one by one facing or single seats. One of my favorite places to rail fan the BNSF is Hinsdale. Here we fly through town passing by Christmas displays as well as the outbound platform. West of Hinsdale, we continued rocketing through neighborhoods. One thing that stood out to me is that even though we were doing track speed, it did not look too fast on my video as we went through these areas. However, we were easily doing 50 to 60 miles per hour this entire time. After only 26 minutes, we came to our first stop of Downers Grove. This was my first time this far west on the BNSF, and this would be my first trip all the way to Aurora. After a short 60 second station stop, we pulled out of town. Now approaching Naperville. A few stops down the line is Naperville. This stop is notable because it also serves Amtrak's Southwest Chief and California Zephyr long distance trains. They stop to pick up passengers only outbound and discharge passengers only inbound. We once again make a brief stop here with passengers hopping off and then the conductor hopping back on before we continue westbound. We would meet Metro inbound 1262 just outside of Route 59.
As we make our final approach to Aurora, we would meet an inbound BNSF intermodal. There was also a local making a pull out of Eola Yard right after the intermodal. On our final approach to Aurora, we came past the locals' power, which consisted of an SD40-2 and a tri-window SD60M. With Aurora in view, we've slowed down and are making our final approach to the station. As we come to a stop, we'll pass an old Burlington caboose as well as an old roundhouse which has been turned into a brewery and entertainment center. Stepping off the train, we'll take one last look at the coach that brought us here, Metra 770. While these cars aren't necessarily the newest or the nicest on Metra, it is always cool to get a ride on a classic Burlington Gallery car. As I continue to ride Metra trains, I look out for these older cars as well as the Pullmans to try and ride them before they're gone. Power for our train this afternoon was METX 119, a Metra F40PH-3 locomotive. This was originally built as an F40PH in 1977. And with that, our trip is complete. As we wait to go back inbound to Chicago, we watch the Amtrak Southwest Chief pass by on the main line. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this trip report, do not forget to subscribe for future videos just like this one.